Oh, oh, Bianca, I'll get you. No! 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 Bianca. Mommy? Bianca, oh, it's so good to see you awake, dear. You have color in your cheeks. You're not sick, looking sick anymore. In your head, it's not anything wrong. You just fell off your horse. Mm -hmm. Now I have a story to tell you. What? Mm -hmm. Um... Hey, Bianca, you have two new visitors. Visitors? Mm -hmm. Hi, Sabrina. Hi. I just wanted to uh, make sure that you're okay. Mm -hmm. I gotta go. My aunt's in the car. <laughs> okay. Hi. Race? It's me, Reese, from school. Mm. Hi, Reese. Thanks for showing up. How did you know I was in the hospital? Oh, I, I was there at the horse's um, riding competition. You were doing really good until you, um, the horse ran into that fence and you f fall. Yeah. Well, we should go horse riding sometime. Oh, we should, yeah. That'd be excellent. Okay, well, uh, let me know. Me and my mother are going to have a little talk. Okay. Hmm. I have something to tell you, okay? It's a long story, but I'm going to tell you everything. Okay. Oh. Dimitri. Yeah, Kendall. <laughs> Where is she? I don't know. Erica, it's time. What? Oh, Dimitri. Uh, okay, Bianca, I gotta go to court right now. I'll talk to you later in a little bit. Just get some rest. I love you. We love you. Oh, Bianca, I forgot. What, Reese? Oh, here's your necklace that fell off. Of you when you were horseback riding and and stuff. Oh, thank you, Reese. <laughs> it was very nice and thoughtful of you. You're welcome. I'll see you later. Hey, Kendall. It's me, Bianca. And I want to talk to you. It's me, Bianca. Kendall, are you in there? Bianca. So, we meet again. Okay, I would take it to the call the stand. Erica Kane. Okay. Erica Kane. Yes. What is what do you remember about that night? Well, I remember everything about that night. Would you like me to get you some tissues? You okay, sure. Mm -hmm. Well, I was alone at my father's house. It was my birthday. Well, it was my 14th birthday. My father, uh, well, it was my birthday and the host himself forgot to show up. Um, it was, a, it was an empty time because, you know, my father forgot his 14-year-old daughter's birthday. It was a very sad time in my life. 
Mm. Very disappointing. And um, I was looking down, and but when I looked up, there was him, Mr. Fields, standing right in front of me, just like a movie. Were you afraid of him? No. He was my Saturday afternoon movie idol hero. He's a big famous star, and he makes others too. And he told me to dry my tears, and he was very courtly. When you're 14, you tend to believe everything that um, an adult tells you, especially if they're famous or something, and your father's friend. He said that I was pretty, he, and I believed him, and I was just sitting there like thinking, oh wow, a big movie star like Richard like Fields is celebrating my birthday. Mr. Fields was there on my birthday. Bianca, my lovely girl, how good of you to come back to see me. Um, I came to see Kendall. Oh, well, Kendi's not here. Don't you remember this morning that you said that you were a big fan? And, uh, well, I've been looking through my productions and I found something that you could be. A famous star. I know some guys, of my, buddies of mine, that uh, also were looking into you and your precious look. They said you could be the next punk Brewster and w that you also could be an advocate for being a vegan. I've heard that you were. Yeah, well, would you like to see them, the productions? No, thank you. I've got to go. You are so pretty, Bianca. You know, you are what they call star quality. <sighs> yeah, you star quality. And uh, Shirley Temple had it. Judy Garland had it. Your mother had it too. I could make you a star. Would you like that? No, I have to go. I was naive, trapped alone with a man that's old enough to be your father. If only someone had could been been there. And only if someone could have stopped him. You don't want to go. <laughs> you just arrived. I want to go home. Now! You really don't want to go home. You want to stay right here. Now don't you, lovely? Bianca, you don't want to go home. You want to stay right here. No. I want to go home now. No, you'd rather stay here, right here with me. Now, Miss Kane, um, Mr. Fields was testifying today saying that y'all had consensual sex. Now, you mean to tell me that he was lying? Yes, he was lying. But, Miss Kane, Mr. Fields uh, swore to this court saying that you, as a 14-year-old girl, came on to him. Is that a lie? Yes, that's a lie. Now, he also said that uh, he didn't force you to do anything. Um, is that a lie? Y yes, Mr. Fields raped me. 
Okay, Miss Kane, I want to take you to your 14-year-old birthday and to your father's house where you let him in, admittedly, um, because it was your Saturday matinee and you were a big fan of Mr. Fields. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah, I didn't know that Mr. Fields was dangerous until it was too late. At what time did you uh, not start feeling safe around your father's friend? Until a few moments later, he attacked me. So, until not just a few minutes later that he attacked you. So, you mean to tell me he was a gentleman until up the time where he attacked you? Yes, he was a perfect gentleman. And then he assaulted me. It was a trick. It was a horrible trick. I told you. I was just in here looking for Kendall. <laughs> there, there. It's okay, old chap. No, it's not. You locked the door. You tricked me. You locked the door. And Mr. Fields was so cordial and courty. He said I was pretty, and I just wanted to believe him because it was nice. And when he asked me to dance, I thought it was something that he was doing that was nice. Shh, there's nothing to be afraid of. What do you want? What did Mr. Fields do after he locked the door? He changed. He changed completely. Well, well, he changed completely, and he was no longer commenting on a little girl. He, he started touching me and pulling me. And then that was when you asked him to stop. Yes, I, I, I asked at first, and then I demanded it that he stopped. And then you gave up. No, I was kicking and pushing him away from me. And then it got to the point where he pinned me down and I couldn't breathe. And then that's when you stopped. No, I kept fighting. And then what did he do? Well, he pinned me down and he forced himself on me and... Uh, and then you finally submitted. Well, no, I never submitted. Well, how did Mr. Fields know that he didn't want you to move? I cried and I begged. When, how did Mr. Fields react to your crying and your plea? Well, he called me a slut. And a tease. <laughs> That's what he called me. And then what did you do after that? I screamed for help. Help! Somebody help me! It's just me and you. You and me, the two alone. Somebody help me! No, I never talked about this before until like a few hours ago. You never talked to this about this? You never reported it? No, you never reported it to a police or a teacher or a doctor or a school nurse? No. You didn't even see a rape counselor? I didn't know that there was a rape counselor existed back then. Well, I guess you can assume that you didn't join a rape crisis group, did you? Well, when you finally told your mother, what did she do? Well, when I finally told my mother, we both agreed never to talk about it. Because those kind of things are ugly and that we wanted them just to go away. And just forget about them. And were you ever able to ever block that memory away? No. But the more that I pushed and struggled to put them down and block them, Away.
that that they would no longer invade my thoughts, and that's what me and my mother wanted to do, is um, just rise above the terrible situation. And if me and my mother would just stop talking about it, we would make it to where it was not real. But it's real to you now, now, isn't it? Yeah. It's just like it was yesterday. Like I'm still just a little girl. I know who you are. Yes, of course you do. I'm Mr. Fields. You s I was on, I'm on television. You said so. No, you hurt my mother. Hey, gentlemen, never would hurt anyone, and I pride myself on being a very good gentleman. You only act nice, but you're really, really bad. Oh, but I could be very, very good, Bianca. And I would love to show you how good I could be right now. Okay, okay. You may you telling me you telling me that Mr. Fields threw you on the ground and um, forced entry on you, and you're telling me that there's no reason for him to believe that you really actually wanted that. No, that's not what I wanted. But he testified in court saying that you gave these uh, clear symbols that. You hinted around that that's what you really wanted. Now, is it possible that you sent some mixed signals? No, absolutely not. How could you be sure? I told you that I said no and I fought back. You fought back. But you didn't, but you didn't fight enough to where you could stop him. I fought until I had not enough fight in me trying to stop him. And I'm small, and I was smaller, and Mr. Fields overpowered me. <laughs> Let go, Mr. Fields. Let go. Bianca, I want to make you happy. Very, very happy. What did Mr. Fields do when you screamed? He put his hand tightly over my mouth. Uh, making it impossible for me to cry out. Oh, Bianca, please. I want to show you how much I can make you happy. I want to make you very, very happy. Come on, Bianca. Don't fight. Come on, Bianca. Don't fight it. I can show you it'd be so much more lovelier if you just let me show you how much happy I can make you be. Just leave it to me. Mm -hmm. Let go of me. Don't fight it, Bianca. Mm -hmm. Please, I want to show you how happy we can be. Mm -hmm. And can you state, remember, how exactly how it felt when you knew that you wasn't going to get away? Your Honor, um, the Erica State of Mind has nothing to do with um, this case. Um, she told you that she fought and struggled. And she said no. No, excuse me, Erica Kane's state of mind is not only relevant, but it is pivotal. This post can't eliminate a post-traumatic stress system without eliminating every single detail of this experience. So we, so we can find out every single aspect of this trauma. Okay, uh, I'm the judge and I will allow the question. Thank you, you are, Your Honor. When you realized that you wasn't getting away and Mr. Fields was going to have his way with you, what went through your mind? Well, 
I felt utterly alone and lost and deserted. It probably the same feeling that you get when you feel like you're about to die. I felt like my life would never be all right again. I felt like my life was completely over. Oh, come on, Bianca. I'll give you uh, cookies and cake. No, I don't want to get fat. <clears throat> I'll get you. No! <clears throat> <gasps> Bianca! <laughs> what happened? Bianca! <laughs> I was... <laughs> Let me out of here! Let me out of here! <laughs> Hold it. Alright. Oh. Uh. Ah! <laughs> Bianca, what happened? I... Let me out of here! What have you done to her? What have you done to her? I haven't laid a hand on her. Bianca, tell me, are you hurt? I... He, he just wouldn't stop. He just wouldn't stop. Bianca, listen to me. Why, why would he stop? Tell me what happened. Don't encourage her. Look at me, Bianca. Are you hurt? Of course she's not. Don't be ridiculous. He... Shut up! He... He, he locked the door and... Um, he, he... He wouldn't stop. Listen to me, Bianca. Are you hurt? Of course she's not. Shut up! Bianca, it's going to be okay. I'm not going to let anything bad happen to you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, Bianca. <laughs> Tell me, Bianca, what happened? What's wrong? I did nothing wrong. Shut up! Okay, Bianca. Listen to me. Are you okay? He wouldn't stop what? <laughs> Bianca, what, tell me what happened. It's just a misunderstanding. Nothing happened. It's okay. I want to make sure everything's okay. Now tell me what happened. I tried to get away, but I couldn't. <laughs> come here, come here. It's okay, it's okay. I'm going to take care of you. You don't have to be afraid anymore. <laughs> Nothing bad's gonna happen to you, okay? You can trust me. No, mommy's told me never to trust anything that you say. Ever, never, never. I no, I know. I just want to protect you. No, you're not. You're you only pretend to be nice. You're just like him. You're bad. You're just like him. Keep your hands off my that child. Grandma! Why? Why is she here? What's going on? Why, Bianca, why is your skirt torn? Get her out of here. Just leave. Come on, baby. Come to Grandma. Come to Grandma. Let's go. Come on, come to Grandma. Oh dear, look Look at that face. Have faith in your old man. Buckle up. You know, first impressions can be very difficult, you know, at first. I can erase any problem there is. Uh, there's just this one, just a simple explanation, just a very simple explanation. Eric Kane, what did you do after he, Mr. Fields, raped you, abandoned you? At your father's home. Uh, who did you call? I, I, I didn't consider calling anybody. I was just to your friend. What were you thinking? I wasn't thinking about anything. I was in too much pain. 
emotional pain uh, and physical. Um, can you tell? Can you tell me uh, about the physical um, uh, problems that you have the been has been caused, um, Mr. Fields? I I had very many um, red whelps that turned into blue bruises. Um, do you ex exactly remember where these bruises were? Yes, mostly of them were uh, bruises on my wrist, on my shoulders, and in between my thighs and on my neck. Can you tell us how you actually abstained these bruises? Well, when Mr. Fields um, pinned me down, yeah. So you mean to tell me, um, Mr. Fields gripped you so tightly that you got bruises here, here, and there, and there? I, uh, I yes. I know this is very difficult, Miss Kane, but can you tell us how you were stained? The bruises that were happening on your thighs just that were swelling up. Um, well, when Mr. Fields held me down, he, um, he, he pinned me down with his knees to where I couldn't move. He pressed down on them with all his weight. This is a 90 pound little girl. Miss Kane, can you tell us if there was any other injuries? Did, there were teeth marks on my neck and shoulders where he bit you? Yes. <laughs> Miss Kane, I know this is difficult, but can you tell us how hard and he bit you? Well, I was bleeding. Miss Kane, uh, how did you feel other than physical pain? Well, I felt abandoned and filthy. And sick. When you say sick, does that mean nauseated? Yes. But more than that, like sick from the bottom of my being. Poor little puppet. I hope you're not coming down with some kind of bug. Just another beast of the world. Just another beast of the weather. Y you don't look after yourself. That's the problem. We ought to bumble you up in bed. Uh, leave it to Papa to uh, go out there and get you some soup and tea. I wonder if there's some bottle. I wonder if there's some bottles and or a post at the um, down store down there. Um, but you do look awful feverish. Um, please, come here. <laughs> Don't you ever touch me again. If you ever touch me again, I'll kill you. Let me see you. Don't you ever touch me again. <laughs> if you ever touch me again, I'll kill you. Oh, you don't mean that. You couldn't mean that. I'm your father. My father. Scandalous father. What a joke. My father is a pig. Kendall. I hate you. And I wish that you were dead. You are vile and disgusting. 
Oh, my dear, you do look very feverish. Come here, let me see you. If you ever, ever touch me again, I'll kill you. Oh, you, Kindle, you don't mean that. I'm your father. Father. Scandalous father. Yeah, that's nothing but a joke. My, my father is a pig. Kendall, I hate you. You are disgusting and filthy, and I wish that you were dead. <laughs> Miss Kane, when did you tell your uh, parents about when you were raped? Well, I... I told my father the next morning. Why did you wait till the next morning? Well, my father didn't get home from work yet till the next morning. How did Mr. Kane um, react to when he found out that his daughter was brutally violated? He didn't believe me. He thought you were lying. Lying, exaggerating. He, he didn't accept what I was saying. Well, didn't he see the bruises? N no. Well, um, it was dark. I was sitting in his brown leather chair. Um, after I got in the shower, I, I started to scrub and, and scrub. I had one of those robes, I had one of those robes on that, um, had a big, thick collar. Um, why didn't you just, um, pull your collar down and, um, show your father the bruises? I, I, because I hid them. Why did you hid them from your father? Um, well... They were hideous. I didn't want anyone to see them, especially my father. Why especially your father? Well, I idolized my father. And um, he, he didn't believe me, and he didn't want to believe me that one of his friends that did something wrong. Well, what about your mother? How did she react to when she learned that Mr. Field did what he done to you. Well, I didn't tell my mother. How did she find out? Well, five months after the rape, I was in the shower and um, she came in and took a look at my body and let out a little cry. And then what happened? Well, naturally I wept into tears and I uh, grabbed a hold of my mother and held her. Uh, is that when sh you told her about what Mr. Fields done to you? No, I didn't know what has been done to me. Um, I, I didn't. I, I asked her what was wrong with me because I didn't know. And she sat me down and um, asked me a lot of questions, the right questions. Pretty soon, the whole story just tumbled out. When my mother told me, when my mother told me I was pregnant, I was shocked. Shocked? Yes, I was shocked. You were a 14-year-old little girl. You were raped, pregnant. How could you have been shocked by um, finding out that you were carrying a child? Because at that time, my knowledge of um, that type of stuff was very sketchy. You mean to tell me at age 14, you didn't know where babies came from? No, I, 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 knew, where ba I did, knew where babies came from, but not technically. I just never put it together to f find out f 
for myself. So what happened after your mother explained to you what happened? Well, my mother uh, arranged us to go to Arizona and give the baby up for adoption. She told me it was very important that no one find that would find out. And my mother warned me that we were going to be in a bad time and just never look back. We would never uh, think about it or talk about it. And that's exactly what we did. Didn't you miss your little girl? No, not until after uh, the birth of my daughter, Bianca. Then I did have thoughts about my uh, firstborn daughter. Did you have regrets about giving it up? I wouldn't use the word regret, but I would use the words very sad. I loved my daughter Bianca so much that I couldn't help mourn the firstborn of my daughter. So is that when you thought perhaps you made a mistake? No, quite the opposite. The demands of motherhood um, made me realize that I had made the right choice. I was a grown-up when I gave birth to my daughter, Bianca. And um, Bianca took every resource that I have had. And when I was 14, I didn't have any resources to tap. I, I would have been useless to Kendall. So you and your mother flew to Arizona, where you gave birth to your first daughter, Kendall, and gave her a, to a reputable adoption agency. Then you went back to Pine Valley to renew your long, long life, young life. All, on that plane ride back home, uh, what was your thoughts? I was thinking, please, God, don't let my daughter ever go through the same pain that I have endured. What, what have I done to you uh, that was so wrong? Why are you so angry at me? You act like you mean it. Are you crazy? Are you just the world's best liar? I don't like your tone. You ripped Bianca's skirt. You make it sound like I stalked her. She came to me. She came to you? What is that supposed to mean? She is a child. Well, it was quite obvious that she wanted some love and some perfection. And she could see warmth in me, and that's what she craved. <sighs> Did she crave having her clothing torn? Did she crave being terrified? Kendall, you're gonna have to take my word for this. In the depth of love, I am more experienced than you. Uh, and just how many love dances did you do with elementary school girls? Oh dear puppet, she just came to me, can't you see? That little tease has been coy. Coy? She was hysterical. 
Oh, you have to believe me. She wanted it. They all do. <laughs> oh my god. It's true. It's all true. <laughs> Calm down. You're beside yourself. You are a monster. That's preposterous. All the horrible things that they said about you. Every single thing of what they said about you is true. Get a hold of yourself. You are a rapist! Oh. Oh, I just had a... That's just about enough of you. No. No. That's the sickest part. You haven't. If I haven't came in, where would you have stopped? I have done nothing wrong. Would you have stopped if you have took all, all of her off of her clothing? Fondling her? Oh, I've told you, I have done nothing wrong. Your whole life is wrong. It's no surprise that you turned out the way you are, with no friends, no money, and no family. You will address me with a monument of respect. You were a sick, an evil fiend. I am your father. <sighs> Everyone tried to tell me, and I defended you like an idiot. You were my last chance for a real family. I, I was going to take care of you in your declining years. Uh, I prayed that you would live long enough to see my grandchildren. <laughs> you are a sick and twisted man. When I think about that little girl who killed herself. Uh, oh my god. Erica, she didn't... <laughs> You raped my mother. She didn't seduce you. It was... It was rape. Bianca. I want you to just listen to me. Listen to me very carefully and remember everything that I tell you. You did nothing wrong. Mr. Fields did. But why? Because, well, Mr. Fields is a very sick man who likes to hurt little children. But you did nothing wrong. Bianca, I want you to listen to me very carefully and remember every word that I tell you. You did nothing wrong. He did. But why? Mr. Fields is a very sick man that likes to hurt little children. But he will never hurt anyone ever again. Not you, not anyone. I was so scared. I was so scared. Well, 
Mr. Fields will have no reason to ever scare you again. And I will see to it that. You raped my mother and you tried to rape Bianca. I can't stand the sight of you for one more second. Where do you think you're going, you little cretin? Where do you think you're going, you brainless cretin? How dare you talk to me like that after I stuck up for you and defended you and after all I've done for you. Don't be my Eve. Your mother was a love star nymphant and was desperate for what I had to give her. Like Bianca. Erica is a lying hellion, and you want to believe her. I don't care if she's got a written aphidasia, uh, or have every old people's uh, word on the street. Uh, and I don't care if she's backed by the law. I am your father, and you must believe me. If you walk out that door, you will have nothing. You better stay with me, Kindle. I am all you have left. Never again. Never. Again. If you are all that I have got left, then I have nothing. Cause I'd rather be alone than would be a, with a slime like you. You can't leave me. Who will take care of me? Who will take care of me? You cost me everything that I could have had and all that I could ever have. <laughs> and you know what the worst part is? I have no one but to blame other than myself. Please don't go. Don't leave me. I hope you burn in hell. <laughs> it's okay. Bianca is asleep and at peace. Peace. No one will be at peace until that Mr. Fields is dead. What are you doing? I'm going to call the police. I told you not to call the police until Erica comes back. Now please hang that up. You, you don't want to wait on things like this. Um, he tried to molest that little girl, Bianca. No, there's plenty of times to, to wait on this. I, I think um, Erica should be the one to notify the police. Now, now will you please wait here? with Bianca, well, I'll be right back in a few minutes. You're not thinking about leaving, are you? This is very serious. I have something very important to go do.
Now promise me that you won't tell anybody about Bianca. Um, and because I don't want Erica hearing this from anyone in the wrong way. And where on earth do you have to and on where on earth do you have to go at this time of night? Uh I I have to go home. I baked a cake and I'm I'm gonna give it to Mrs. Phillips for uh, the church ceremony tomorrow. And and I have to go home and take my medication. I, I, with all the uproll and everything, I forgot about everything. And, and promise me you won't do anything about calling the police until Erica is here. There is plenty of time to not there is plenty of time to notify the authorities. Well what if Mr. Fields skipped town? Mr. Fields, he is not going anywhere. Oh thank you for everything. Now Mona, you sure you're all right? If Bianca wakes up, tell her that she will never have anything to worry about. Mr. Fields will never harm anyone ever again. Now, if Bianca wakes up, tell her there is nothing to worry about. Not anymore. Yes, who is it? Telegram from Los Angeles for Mr. Fields. Yes, who is it? Telegram from Mr. Fields from Los Angeles. Oh, it's you. I wasn't sure that you would fall for the telegram floor, but it was worth a try. Look, I don't know what you want. I'm sorry that I can't help you. You're packing. Look, just get out. Too bad your trip just got cancelled. Look. You stupid old woman. You have no control over me and what I do and where I go. Oh, Mr. Fields. I beg to differ. I think this gives me a quite a bit of control. It's a shovel axe. It's very sharp. Oh, the scene of you strikes a big freaking burn of steel in my heart. <laughs> now that we have all had a good laugh, you can go back to getting, um, stick to your stitches and cabaret, uh, gat. The the sight of that strikes fear into my heart. <laughs> now that we had a good laugh. <laughs> now that we had a good laugh, you can get back to going your stitches and chatter. <sighs> <laughs> now that we had a good laugh. Now you can drop the phony theatrics and get back to your stitches and stitching and chatter. <laughs> there are no theatrics. There are no theatrics. I've done this before. Killed. Yeah, I'm so sure. Oh, 
I warned you. I told you I'd kill you if you sent Erica to prison. But that was until you hurt my granddaughter, Bianca. I never touched that kid. Nor did I touch her. You ripped Bianca's skirt and you intended to molest her like you, just like you did Erica. Now the time has come for you to die. If you were so desperate for love, why didn't you just turn to them? I don't belong with them, and you know that. I told you that. You belong in hell which, for what you did to Erica. You dug up her rapist, and you shoved it in her face every chance that you got. All I ever wanted was from her, was her, from her, was her, her love. All I ever wanted from her was her love. Oh, bull. You wanted Erica tore to pieces. That was before my father. You dug up Erica's rapist and shoved it in her face every chance that you got. You wanted revenge. You wanted her to be torn to pieces. And... You wanted Erica to be torn to pieces and destroyed. That was my father's fault. She, he lied to me. About everything. He told me that my, she wanted it. And that... He called her a slut, and I was just too stupid enough to believe him. He, he talked about the life that we could have had in Hollywood if only Erica would have told me. He told me he would raise me, and God help me, I was so desperate for love that I believed that monster. Stop trying to blame Mr. Fields for everything, okay? How about what you did to Erica and Dimitri? I've already... That's on them. I've already testified about that in court. I already admitted it and testified about that in court. You said that if Erica found out that... It, it was slip, and, uh, and they found out about Demetrius. You told me that Erica found out by accident that Demetrius took you to Evangelist. That it just slipped out. Now that's not how it really happened, now is it, Kendall? That little piece of information just slipped out on purpose. Okay! Maybe I did tell her on purpose, uh, only because Erica was so smug. You blew her out of the water. You knew that he, Erica would not forgive Dimitri for the, something like that. No, I knew she would be angry, but I never knew that she wouldn't forgive him for something like that. You knew she would move out. That was your goal. You knew she'd move out. And as soon as you found out that she would move out, you would try to take her place in Dimitri's bed. But that's not how it really went. That little piece of information like, slipped out. Okay. Maybe I did tell her on purpose. Maybe because she was so smug. You wanted to take her, Erica's place in Demetri's bed. I'm right. Right, okay. I said you were right about everything. Oh, we haven't talked about everything. 
Now, did we? Uh, me and you, when we had a candlelight dinner, you, we made love, and now that part, wasn't that true? And you didn't tell Erica that you slept with me. You told Erica that Demetri raped you. No. Yeah, and that's what did- No. No. Yeah, that's what really did happen. No, that's not true! No, it's not true! Isn't it? Don't lie, Kendall. No, I didn't! It's not true! If you're gonna be pathological, get on out of here! Okay! Okay! I told Erica that Dimitri raped me. <laughs> Joe, what are you doing here? And where's Bianca? And where, where's Mona? Everything is going to be all right. Bianca is asleep and safe. And. Be Uncle's sleeping safe. Where is she? What ha what happened? Uh, is she safe? Yeah, d d don't worry about it. I gave her a mild sedative and sent her to bed. Sleep. No, wait. Let me tell you what. Wait. Let me tell you what really happened. What do you mean? It's everything's fine. What do you mean? Um. What really happened? Apparently, before you left off to court, Kendall uh, sent herself off to uh, the Pine Cone Hotel. Bianca took a little stroll to Pine Cone Motel while Kendall was staying. Perhaps she wanted to clear her mind and tell Kendall what she really was thinking. I, I, I sat her down. I sat Bianca down. And told her to stay away from Kendall. She went over there? What did Kendall do to her? Well, eventually Kendall wasn't there. In that moment for any events. Oh. Oh, no. Yes. No. Yes. No. No. Yes. Uh, he was there. But Kendall showed up. Kendall showed up just in time, and nothing happened. Oh, no. Oh, no. Joe, you mean to tell her he never touched her? No. He tore her skirt and... Scared her Thor authoritatively. What? Other than that, she's fine. She just got really scared. She's sleeping. Wait, Erica. I don't care. Uh, Joe, tell me what happened. Okay, Dimitri. Um, yeah. Uh, what else has happened? Well, a little weird thing happened. Uh, well, when Kendall showed up, uh, Mona took Bianca and, um, I, I was, gave her a sedative so she could go to bed. And Mona took it to her own, uh, idea and took just leaving. Something about she had to go home and take her medication. But I think that uh, uh, Mona's got some crazy idea in getting in revenge on uh, Mr. Fields. I would have preferred a gun, but one wasn't available. Oh, you came willing to play with a sharp objects, wasn't ya? <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do with it? Plunge it into my heart? <laughs> hmm. 
Come on, come on, go ahead. Come at me. <laughs> Here, why don't you take this home and go shovel some roses <laughs> up and eat some briskets with it. I think you're too good and kind to kill anyone. <laughs> I hope that's a good comfort to you. <laughs> I leave here with nothing but miserable memories. What are you doing? I'm calling the police, which I should have done in the first place. Put that phone down. I said, put that phone down! Mm. Oh! Ah! Oh. oh! My heart! Oh! Dear God, the pain! Oh! 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 Hey, Anton! Dimitri! Anton, what is she doing here? I, I, I came to see Anton. What? To throw yourself in front of him? In spite of pity? You fell for this? Kendall, tell uh, Dimitri what you just told me. Go on, Kendall. Tell him what happened. Okay. I came to the hotel, and um, with with Bianca, she followed me. She came to the uh, Pinecone Motel, and she followed me. What? And she ran into him. Where is she? Is she okay? <sighs> Did he... Uh, is she hurt? No, no, she's not hurt. Did he threaten her? He cornered her. Mr. Fields... Uh, Mr. Fields attacked Bianca and went after her, but Kendall came in just in time. He never got a chance to touch her, because Kendall came on there in time, right? Tell her what you did. I shouted at him, and, um, <laughs> before, he, and he looked at me as though he's never seen me before. <sighs> so I screamed, and I forced him to get off Bianca. Where is Bianca now? Wait. Where is Bianca now? Wait. Where is she? M Mona showed up and uh, she took her back to Erica's. Dimitri, it was so disgusting, but it woke me up. He... <laughs> He, it woke me up. He tricked me and he, he talked me into... Okay, okay. What did you tell the police when they got there? The, the police? I didn't think to call the police. I just wanted her to get out and of there safely. I told him off and um, I collapsed outside... 
And Dim wait, wait, Dimitri, where are you going? Mm. Nice going, Kindle. You got rid of Dimitri without incriminating yourself. Nice going, Kindle. You got rid of Dimitri before you even got to incriminate yourself. But that was the plan. That was the plan. Um, you just t go ahead. Tell everyone how Mr. Fields uh, w will reeled you in and had you lied to you and made you believe. And he made everyone believe in his lies. But uh, that to cover it up. And so you wouldn't have to tell what you did to Erica. I'm sorry, but... I'm tired and I was confused. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, you do know now, don't you? Or... Uh, are you still going to send Erica to prison? Uh, oh, 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 this is better. This is much better than the attack that you faked in court. Oh, 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 oh this is almost a good scene where you faked a part. Almost as good as the scene oh, 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 where you have... Faked appointment with tomorrow. Oh. Oh, 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 yeah, this is one of your best pictures that you've ever made. Uh, faking it with Erica. The appointment with tomorrow. You remember that? That was your best picture. Yeah, one of your last good ones until your career <coughs> went out of skits. By the way, did you know the leading lady was my one of my husband's mistress? <coughs> I don't think that I've ever told you that I've seen all of your motion picture movies. Oh, I don't think I've told you that I've seen all your motion picture movies, and it hasn't been easy because none of them were classic. I mean, they're cheap, second-rate trash. That's about all they were. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's... Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that's about all you did in the motion picture, biz. That's how you'll be remembered. <gasps> you are... You are a rotten actor and a vile human being. Please, oh, oh, Mona. Please, please, will you... Oh, just to think that I used to set my alarm to for 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. Oh, to watch those little clunkers. Because I wanted to remember your technique. Every bit of it. Did you? Do you know why? Because I wanted to examine exactly what my daughter saw in you that she could trust. Uh, why you could fool young girls. Uh, 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 I had pity. Oh, you had pity on Erica, didn't you? Uh, when you raped her, she begged you to stop uh, hurting her. Uh, uh, oh. But you, you enjoyed, you took pleasure in her pain. Oh, 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 try, try, nah, I, oh, that's very nice. But you're a fool if you think I'm going to fall for it. 
you might have noticed that I'm a lot older than uh, Erica and all your other young victims. Oh, I know a phony when I see one. Oh, 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 I'm dying. I'm dying. I think I'll call the police when I get to Erica's if she hasn't already called them. Oh, oh, oh. It's no accident that all your victims were just children. Oh, oh. Any adult would uh, tell you that you're a second rate failure that you've always been. What do you know? There is a god. Please, get help. Oh, I guess you're just uh, rehearsing for one of your phony another phony attacks uh, uh, hmm maybe it is I could barely find a pulse oh, oh, oh. Oh, please get help get, get help you want me to call an ambulance <gasps> please get 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 help you want me to call an ambulance? Hmm, you want me to forget what a low-life, uh, character you are? And, uh, what you did to Erica when she was just a young child? You want me to forget about what you try to do with Bianca tonight? Uh, and heaven knows what other little girls you did in your lifetime? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> and you want me to forget what a low life scumbag you are in in decency of just my basic instinct of calling for help? <laughs> well, guess what, Mr. Fields? I'm all out of decent impulses. <laughs> I'm. I'm sorry I lost my last one with my marriage from being tortured from the memory of what you did to Erica! <laughs> now, Fields, it's just you and me. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's down to the last curtains about to close to your last... The curtains are about to close on your final exit out of here, Mr. Fields. And you're gonna be able to shut with a man who hates your filthy guts. Yes, please hate it. He's died. He's dead. It's too late for him. But I wish I could say the same for Erica and Bian Bianca. Torch. Uh, I don't want Erica to be in trouble or got to go to court. But I can't say that I lied and under perjury. That didn't seem to bother you before. You don't know the DEA. He's had it in for me ever since day one. He accused me of wrecking his case. 
if, if I um, tell the truth and tell him that I lied about Dimitri raping me, he's going to send me, he's going to be thrilled to send me up to the river and uh, <laughs> get me in trouble. He's going to be thrilled to send me up to the river and get even if he finds out that I lied and told Erica about Dimitri raping me. Are you going to lie and let Erica go be sent up the river instead? For 10 to 20 years? But it doesn't have to come to that. You can um uh, convince, maybe they can have a mistrial. You can convince Dimitri to drop the charges. Uh, you, yeah, but it's true. You could. He he knows how you uh, uh, care about Erica and um, Bianca. And he'll listen to you. No, no, this is the kind of help that you want from me. Yeah. For one, it's too late. They're not gonna drop the charges. Demetri can't. Uh, they they took it up with the state, and Dimitri just cooperated. And it's almost over. The the uh, state's about to take it to court. It's almost on going to go to on jury. But y you can uh, convince them with making a statement and supporting Erica. No, you don't understand. You don't get it, Kendall. I'm not going to convince uh, Demetrius, uh, Dimitri of doing anything. The case is your mess. You have to admit what you did and accept the consequences. What if I can't? If you can't, you know better than your father. You're no better than Mr. Fields. Come on, Kendall. You must know the DA's phone number by heart. Now, come on, Kendall. What are you waiting for? Uh, you could still save Erica. She could be sent to jail. The only good thing that you could say about Phil's is if he'll never hurt a woman or a child ever again. What? What's made one thing straight? How is it that uh, you got here before Mona? Well, I haven't seen anything about Mona right now, but I'm. Um, uh, but uh. Uh, if it wasn't for that heart attack, I would have got here sooner and took care of it. Well, I wonder where, uh, where Kendall and Mona is. <laughs> Hello. I would like a bus ticket to um, Australia. Name? Name's Kendall. Kindle Fields. <laughs> Bianca, you are about to be on the view as my daughter, my precious daughter. Oh my god. Mm. Yeah. You're going to be on there with Barbara Walters and Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah, I like Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, pretty close to my wedding as well. Mm -hmm. 
Mom, what is she doing here? Who? Kendall. Hart. <sighs> Kendall, what are you doing here? I thought you left Pine Valley for good. I'm about to. I just wanted to visit. Oh, you're just visiting? Yeah, I wanted to tell you that I have a fiancé. I'm engaged. Oh, you're engaged. I'm glad that somebody loves you. You found somebody that would love you. Yeah. I found somebody that would love me more than you. My Miss Erica Kane. My mother. I sure tell you... I hate to tell you this, but this is my daughter, Bianca. Oh, it figures. You have your own parents, Kendall Hart. I'm... <laughs> Mother, why do you gotta make this so difficult? You've seen the papers of my adoption. You know, I'm Erica Kane's daughter. The little gift from God that... They never told you about. She's never told them about. The public's eye has none of has no business with my affairs or if I have anything to do with my personal life. Yeah, Erica Kane, and I've studied you, and you're telling me to telling me that you, you all that studying and all that ad admiring me and those pictures on your wall of me. Was just a fluke? You really never really a fan? Yeah, I was. It is true. I was a fan. But then I thought, oh, Erica Kane. Is she even a human? When I met you, I feel completely different about you. <laughs> Who would talk about her long lost daughter? You have to just think, well, I was going through some hard times back then. And it's something that I had to keep quiet. Mm-hmm. What is this, some kind of sick game? Is it something that you need money for? What are you actually gaining from all these unnecessary stories? <sighs> okay, Bianca. I've got to get my daughter ready. Oh, come on, Bianca. What are we going to wear? I have a few outfits for you to try on for my wedding. Oh, mother, I can't wait to see what it is. Yeah, they're going to be all blue-themed, I guess. Red, white, and blue for just 4th of July, my 4th of July wedding. Oh, I can't wait. Uh, yeah, mother, I can't wait to be the fla be the maid of honor. Yes, you can be the flower girl and maid of honor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Erica, please. What? <laughs> Can I have a job? I, I need some place to stay. I thought you were engaged to your boyfriend, Ted. Yeah, I am. And he's going to take me away from Pine Valley and get me away from you. <laughs> and then so you, your little private secret will never be heard of again. Kendall Hart. Erica Kane's daughter. <laughs> what kind of job do you propose uh, that you could do, Kendall? I mean, I fired you the first time. <laughs> and that would not look good on your resume. And it wouldn't mind if, you know, they known that I rehired somebody I fired. Oh, it's not just over. I could be rehired. I mean, I could be a part of your... I could be your weddings advertiser. I could um, fix the dinners and uh, things that you don't have time for. And you could just relax with knowing that you're going to be Beatrice... Uh, Demetrius is his wife. But he has inherited not only just a wife, but two daughters. T two daughters? Ugh. 
I mean, what happened? You were with somebody in the back seat. <laughs> and I was just a disappointment and an embarrassment to you. Kendall, get out of here. You have nothing to gain. I have no clue what you're trying to insist on doing by being a part of my wedding. Well, I do need help. I can't just take people and shun them away from me. Are you being abused or something? Because you can't afford a wedding if you can't have... I mean, yes, I need something to, to just be... I mean, I can't just pick you up off your feet today. I don't need your help, Mother. I can pick up my own feet. I just wanted to do something magical for your wedding. I, I know a lot about um, my cooks and stuff. My, my husband, I mean, my soon-to-be... A uh, good help, too, if he's invited. You are just trying to get a free ticket to my wedding. I mean, it's okay, Kendall. You might as well give up this act of being my assistant. You're my daughter now. Look at this piece of paper. What? It's the news. Look what it says. Miss Erica Kane and Demetrius... Our husband and wife, the most er fam most famous Erica Kane. Get to the point. Known for her talk show. Get to the point. Is going to be uh, interviewing Bianca Montgomery and Erica Kane. Yes, yes. You're, Bianca Montgomery is going to be on my show. <laughs> and Kendall Hart, her other, her firstborn daughter. It's really in the paper? I'm your daughter and everyone knows it? Oh my gosh. Just wait. Yes, you are. You are, Kendall. You are my daughter. Now, yeah, after I've no met the witch that you really could be, after you met me as the witch I could be, Kendall, you're still my daughter. <laughs> yes. I am your daughter. I am Erica Kane's daughter. Yeah. And that means Bianca is your... That means Bianca is my sister. Mommy, I don't like what she's talking about. It's, I... Uh, but it would be. It would be Bianca getting all that attention on the talk show, wouldn't it? My name's not even on here, invited to the talk show. Yes, but I mentioned that you are my daughter. I, I want to just be mostly all sitting with my mother. I don't care about that talk show. Mm -hmm. Mom, she's going to, if she's going to keep me away from me and Rosie O'Donnell, please get rid of her. Bianca, it's okay. It's fine. I need to exercise, Mother. I'm fat. I've been gaining too much weight. I don't need any of that cake, that dessert, when, or be with um that cook, Rachel Ray. I don't want to be on that show, Mother. I can't eat anything. I, I'm trying to lose weight. It does say in the newspaper that we're going to get plenty of interviews and you have plenty of time to lose weight if you really think that you're not special with the weight that you already are. Naturally beautiful. Okay? Well, we'll just get you a nutritionist if that's going to be that serious. I mean, you need to quit talking about that. You're going to have a health issue. Now, Kendall, I have a, a, a dress for you to try on. As well as my daughter. You're going to be my maid of honor now. A maid of honor? Really? Your daughter? You're not ashamed of me? I'm I'm so honored. I can't wait. Yes. So. Okay. Now don't tell Bianca because hers hasn't came in yet. Because it hasn't been fitted. Uh, but yours, I think this will do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Show me. I'm ready. Well, you you have to try it on the same day Bianca does. But um, we can't try it on now. 
But don't tell Bianca what it looks like or anything, because y'all are going to be matching. Okay. Okay, I won't. Hmm. Babe, what are you doing here? Bianca, I have something to t show you. I have someone to show you. What? What? Come on. Mama? It's me. Miranda. What? Who is this kid? This is your kid. I know. You are Miranda. That's your middle name. You were named after my daughter, I mean my son, who died. No, Bianca. That's not your son that died. That is your daughter. You took my daughter daughter away from me when she was born and you convinced me that she was dead and now she's grown and I this is I I'm her I'm her mother mom please tell her that you're my mom Bay. I thought you were my mom no Bianca is your real mother I what I Loved you, babe, and you stole my daughter, and you expect everything to be okay? I am trying to lose weight here. I can't afford a daughter. I need to go to a nutrition. I'm having problems of my own. I can't be a mother at this time. I may have almost thought I could be a mother before until I realized I was a lesbian. Oh. And my mother doesn't even know. And I'm about to go on a TV show of The View with Rosie O'Donnell, Whoopi Goldberg, and Barbara Walters. Erica Kane, my mother, wants to do an interview. And now I have a kid, a daughter. I am your godmother, but you're, that's your other mother. No, Bianca, quit confusing her. You are her mother. Look into her eyes. Don't they look like, um, your ex boy, your surrogate father's eyes? Yeah, they kind of do. Did you sleep with them or something? She, she has beautiful eyes. Miranda, is that you? Oh, Miranda, my daughter. You have to go with her, babe, now. I'll take her if you just own her like this. You're just like Erica Kane. You disown your daughters. No, that was before I even found out that you stole my daughter. You kidnapped her. Why would you play this on, on, on me? Why would you play all this on me? It, it's... You betrayed my trust, babe. I am... I can't go out with you. Anyways... <laughs> Give me my daughter back. No, it's best she goes with me. I, I, I'm gonna take care of her. Forget it. I'm just getting full custody. What? <laughs> Bianca. Reese. And what's you? I haven't seen been since we were kids. Wow. You and Sabrina became my best friends. Where is Sabrina? Where's Sabrina? How's she been? Oh, we're going to college together, and we're trying to go to college together, but we're still at school together, and we're roommating, and it's so much fun. You're roommating? Yeah. We're working on roommating it, but um, she has a lot of secrets, and I'm just going to have to stay out of her way when she's around her and her aunts. So here she comes. Bianca. Hey, Bianca. Oh my gosh, you brought... Why do you always have to bring your cat everywhere with you? Sabrina, what are you, some kind of teenage witch or something? <laughs> yes, Bianca. I'm going to call you Roxy from now on, Bianca. Because you're so Roxy. Okay. <laughs> 
um, maybe I should be going by Roxy because there's too many rumors uh, going on in the public's eye. People don't need to know that um, about me, Bianca. But I'll go by Roxy because, you know, I have a little private life of my own. I, I don't need to always just be well known as uh, Bianca, Erica Kane's daughter. I, I do like to have a normal life of my own. And I, I wasn't all about that fame that much, even if I'm a Leo. I'm, I'm really not like that narcissistic as my mother. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Why well, am an Aries? Leo rising? Moon and Sagittarius, uh, I think. I know I'm Leo rising, but I'm an Aries. Sabrina. Me, my birth chart. <laughs> Oh, okay. Reese, look at it. It has been a long time. Oh, it has been. My best friends since we were little. Reese and Sabrina. And now the cat. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be uh, going to get contacts um, pretty soon. Um... Okay, you still look beautiful with or without them. Yeah, well, I was meaning to tell you, thank you for thinking I'm beautiful, even if I have classes. I've been kind of shy in my life, but, you know, it proofs off as being smart and everything. Like, um, I'm a doctor. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I never would have thought that I would marry a doctor. We, what? Marry a doctor? You dog, who are you dreaming about? Is it me? <laughs> yeah, I kind of like you, Reese. I've always loved you. Wow, I, I always liked you too. <laughs> I always looked up to you, Eric King's daughter. What? Is this just about my fame and my America Haynes life or show? You just want to get close to me just because of fame? No, no, it has nothing to do with that. And you know what? You're gorgeous just the way you are. You don't need any diet supplements. I was looking into that. How did you know? Well, everybody here knows everything. I am a doctor. I can see everybody's file. You looked at my file? Yes, I'm obsessed with you, Bianca. I do want to know all about your health. I mean, what kind of things to feed you? I mean, I am a vegetarian. I could change your life. Oh, I know you are. I, I would love that. You, Yeah, I've seen that you've been going to the doctor for a numerous amount of eating disorders. What? Just... <laughs> At least you accept me for what I am and what I have been, but I'm going to change. You'll see. You're beautiful just the way you are. No, I'm not. I can't be. <laughs> uh, never mind. Stop worrying about that. Um, kiss me. I love you, Reese. I love you, Bianca. Okay, from now on, call me Roxy, okay? Because in, in public, there's too many people that know about me as Erica Haynes' daughter. Okay, Roxy. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Okay, Sabrina. I can't believe you're 16 and you're going to give me a, a ride home, right? Instead of a limo, because I didn't want anyone to see me in Erica Haynes' limo. Yeah, let's go, babe. Let's go. Oh. Bianca, I'm proud of you. Mm. Reese. <laughs> Love you. Mm. Punky. Brewster, my very own show is coming back, and it's going to be on Netflix. Punky Brewster. Punky Power.
Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, you can be a guest star on my show, my new show, Punky Brewster. Oh, I just got my contacts and now I can be your beautiful girlfriend. Okay, you can be my beautiful girlfriend, Reese. <laughs> Punky Power. Sabrina, you are my best friend. Sabrina the Teenage Witch. This is the most beautiful gown I've ever going to wear in my life. It's so beautiful. Yes, Kindle. Yes, Kindle. And it represents the star. My star, Bianca. Punky Brewster. And you, down here. Kindle Heart. The heart. My sis... My... My oldest daughter. Um, and who are these? The butterfly and the, the flower. Oh, you better hide this before uh, Bianca finds it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, I love it. Thanks. <laughs> Bianca, my star daughter. Did uh, did you eat today? No, I don't feel like it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, there's some garlic bread in there and uh, pasta. And um, Ted right here, which is uh, uh, Kendall's ill-conceived boyfriend, has... Hey, I have cooked you some, um, garlic bread, Bianca. Oh, yeah, well, I'm not hungry. You haven't eaten (laughs) all day. You didn't even touch your breakfast. You fed it to the dog. Yes, I did. You fed it to the dog, like I said. (sighs) You've been up in that treehouse for a long time. You need some food. (laughs) Mm, let's think about it, Bianca. Mm, no, I just got a, I just got a breast reduction, and I don't need to be eating any more food right now. My stomach is, um, your stomach is empty. You need something to eat, at least some juice. <sighs> mm, whatever, mom. I I gotta go. Mm. I'll eat some later. You can't feed that dog garlic too much of it, by the way. So, you watch her, Ted. (laughs) Kendall. Come on. You can try on your dress. I'm sure you'll fit in it just fine. I need to lose at least three more pounds. No, you're fine. You can fit it in. Come on. Let's go show off your dress that we're going to wear for my wedding. Okay. Oh, mommy, mommy, mommy. I love it. I love my new dress. (laughs) Okay, Bianca. I'm glad you do. (laughs) This star up here represents you. And this heart represents Kendall, mommy, Kendall is wearing the same, make her take it off. She's wearing the same dress as me. But yes, that's what I wanted to tell you. This heart means Kendall heart. No, mommy, no, make her take it off. I I lost all this weight to fit in this dress. 
Make her take it off. <laughs> Mommy. Mommy, I love my dress. <laughs> Mommy. Mommy, no. Make her take it off. Make her take it off. That's my dress. Bianca, whatever's going on with you, honey, you can tell me. I know. Okay? I've got to go. Answer the phone. Ring, ring, ring. It's, it's your show. The show that we were about to be on. You're going to be your interview. I'll be right back. No, don't ruin anything. Uh, Bianca, you look more beautiful in this dress than me. I don't know why you're so mad. No, I want you to take it off. I want you to take it off. That's my dress only. You can't be wearing the same thing as me. No. <laughs> punky. You're punky. Mm. No. Mm. Give me the dress. No, you're not wearing the dress. Mm. Stop it. Oh my gosh, you ruined it. You ruined it. Oh my god. What's going on in here? Kendall, what is wrong with your dress? What happened? Bianca. She, she ruined it with this fabric paint. Bianca. I had enough. That's enough. She's a brat. She always gets her way. You're just like, not even a slap on the wrist. Bianca, you could tell me how you feel. I know why you did this. But you could tell me. Why didn't you just come to mommy, Bianca? Now I have nothing to wear. Shut it, Kendall. We don't need to hear your despair of what to wear. Your artificial despair, um, a shallowness, is not on the line right now. Bianca is going through something in her feelings, and she hasn't been eating. She's malnutrition. She hasn't come to her senses. That's what she needs to tell me. She needs to tell me that there's some kind of inner problem in it with her. Isn't there, Bianca? No, I don't have a problem. Just... Don't let her wear my dress. Well, she can't, Bianca, but I'm getting married, and I need y'all in bridesmaid dresses. And now we have to do something about this. What are we going to think about wearing? We need to wear something. You look very good in what you're wearing right now, Bianca. Oh, cut it. You're just mad that you're not going to be able to wear that dress. I'm going to wear the dress. No, Bianca. Neither one of you are going to be able to wear that dress because they're supposed to be matching. You're not just going to be the ones that taking the show just because you decided to... Yeah, just because you decided to ruin mine, you're not going to be wearing it, Bianca. So it just backfired. Enough, Kendall. I can handle this as my daughter. I'm your daughter, too. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. we'll just see about what we can do. What else you could wear? I'm wearing this. I could wear something. Okay. Oh, great. I guess it's okay now, uh, Bianca. You're the star. You're the Leo queen. You get to have the dress to yourself. A star. No, I don't want the heart to be on there either. Not on my dress. Well, the heart's gone on mine. Well, Kendall, heart, your name maybe should just become Kane now. Ken Kendall Kane. Kendall Kane? My name? I get to take my mother's maiden name? Yes, you are my daughter. You should both take my name. But I'm Bianca Montgomery. Can I have your name? 
Mm. Y'all both have your own special names from your own fathers. Well, I don't want to be um, Kendall Fields, but I a part of me is. But I'm Kendall Hart. You are Kendall Hart. Your special parents um, raised you. Yeah, well, you're raising me now, aren't you? I've been raising myself. <laughs> dun, 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 The story continues. Well, no one has to know that you are actually my daughter, so be gone. I thought you were moving with Ted, your ill-conceived boyfriend. Ted, are you going to be at my mother's wedding? Yes, but we're going to have our own wedding. Really? Where to? We're going to go to Florida. All the way to Florida. Do you hear that? I'm leaving. Good riddance. Bianca, I won't leave if you don't want me to. I want you to leave me and my mother alone. You're not my sister. Bianca, that's not true. I am your sister. And I love you. And I'll be here for you. Because I know you're going through something really serious with your health. I know what that body image is like. I'm going to be in a pageant soon, the 4th of July pageant. Mm hmm. I don't want you to go. Yeah, to watch you win. I, I, I may not this year. I'm, I'm going to bleach my hair eventually. Yeah. And then you definitely won't look like us. Yeah, that's probably true. I don't want to be like y'all. Y'all are evil and sickening. You know... I need you to just leave me and my mentally ill daughter alone. I can take care of her from here. We, you don't need to. No, I'm here to take care of Bianca. Oh, you're trying to do the lowest thing you can do is take my daughter away from me, my one and only. You have your parents. They took care of you. They didn't abuse you. They didn't neglect you. They didn't neglect me or abandon me like you did, Miss Erica Kane. What I did back then, I couldn't help. I was 14 years old. Can you imagine being pregnant? Yeah, but you have Bianca and you wanted her. I am a lot older now. And this decision of me having a child while I'm old enough to understand even what sex was. I was a virgin when I met your father. Yeah. And he tried to touch Bianca. Yeah, well that, you are almost just like him. You ruin people's lives, Kendall. You ruined mine. No, I gave you a happy life with the Hart family. And they need to know why you're over here so much. I wanted a real mother and I, found a monster that's not acceptable okay you don't talk to me like that being your mother or otherwise i will not be disrespected and i will have a nice beautiful wedding with my beautiful daughters daughters yeah i, I said it daughters you are my daughter Your mother will be here any second now. What? You called her? You're my mother. Well, your adopted parents' mother will be here. Hmm. To meet Bianca. They're none of your business. If this is happening to me, they have nothing to do with this. They do, but they're coming right now. Ding, ding, ding. I'll answer it. Mother, m mommy, this is my mother. Um, Joyce, 
Joyce, I'm... What is this true? You never told me that I was adopted. You never told me I was adopted. This is my real mother. I found out my by myself. Why did you keep this? You now, now, Kindle. We can understand why I kept it a secret because I was a little girl and I couldn't take that much responsibility and I was raped. Joyce, do you have a reason why you kept this a secret? I. I, uh, mommy, <laughs> mommy, yes, Dawn, uh, mommy, mommy, uh. mm. you are not my sister. Yes, I am. What are you talking about? I don't know. Uh, you're, you're fake. You're a Libra. How did you know I was? You, you, I'm your birth sister. You, <laughs> what are you talking about? I have. You're my. Y'all my family. Y'all are both my family. You're my real daughters. And I love you. I love you both. Dawn and Buffy. I'm Kendall Hart. I'm Erica Kane's daughter. Dawn, it's summer. What is that all over your shirt? Buffy, what's all over your shirt? Dawn, it's, it's blood. It's summer's blood. We're sisters. You're my sister. Mm -hmm. There's one over there. I see them. Mm -hmm. Hey, I want to be taken care of by that girl right there. Oh, well, hello. Um... She's been uh, wandering around this uh, hospital and, uh, you know, claiming that she knows somebody here. Uh, she's been, you know, the nut veil kind of uh, bus. She's been on the loony bus. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Ava Marie Gloria Despetiti. And I used to be able to do that in practice, but I'm not uh, working on anybody else. But you're a doctor. You can see me. Yeah. Uh, and um, they're everywhere. And uh, I don't know who they are, but he's not one of them. You are one of them. I don't know what that they are, those is, but he's not one of them. And I'm... Uh, it's okay. I'll take care of you. Okay. Well, don't forget to tell them that I'm Erica Kane's daughter. Um, okay. I'm checking her out. I'm getting her a cube. And, um, uh, I'm, the psych world will be here, uh, pretty soon. All right. Well, I'm going to make you comfortable. You, this place does seem comfortable. It makes you feel like I'm at home or something, like I'm homesick somehow. This is that kind of place. Pine Valley just has a, um impact on you that it just is a place I'm going to miss. It was my home, but I want to leave. But you can't leave. Yes, I can. There's other doctors here. Who's going to treat me? There'll be other doctors here, and they're really good, and they can help you. Ugh. But don't forget to tell them that I'm Erica Kane's daughter. Now oh, come on, come on. I'm, you're just gonna be you're gonna be okay at this hospital here. You're gonna stay. Ted, you're drunk. <laughs> I have to be there to uh, take you home. You can't drive home drunk. 
You sound loaded. I'm I'm draw I'm dropping you off here. You're gonna have to stay overnight and possibly more. I don't know how much more. No, Ted. You can't just leave me here. You're drunk. You're loaded. Uh, I need to take you home. I'm the sober sister. Uh, sister? Okay. Um, I am <laughs> not your sister. But I'm Erica Kane's daughter. You're home, dear. It's okay. You'll be home later. You'll be okay. No. No. <laughs> no. Hi. I'm Rachel. One of the Cabbage Patch looking kids. Yeah. So, I wanted to let you know I did copycat almost the whole, um... All My Children episode that you've seen. But I did it like a karaoke. It's like just copycat singing. It's not going to be made profitable. I'm not trying to make any money off this whatsoever. I just wanted to create my own out of characters that I can make up their own story. But I just wanted to get to the root of where they come from. And that was the whole point of this. And I really wanted to be these characters, so I wrote it in, and I wanted to be part of it. And that's what Scream 5 also um, teaches you, or Scream 4. Sydney's cousin wants to all about becoming Sydney, and you'll see that in more episodes, <laughs> so stay tuned. Mm, for the remake of mm, these most of these stars that lived on now in a Barbie or a comic. But this time, it's an action figure Barbies, okay? <laughs> Catch you on the flip side with Lizzie McGuire and all the famous mean queens and queen kings but the sweet queens and kings you'll ever meet. I give credit to the original All My Children uh, series. I do not own any of their scripts. I just karaoke <laughs> copied it. But it's not made for money. It's just an art made into Barbies. So, yeah, there you go. And disclosure, uh, it is advised. Uh, oh, yeah, what is it called? Discretion. Discretion is advised <laughs> for all the other things that I do with these characters that I also make up in my head. But it's pretty much... A good clone <laughs> copy, but my own. And yours favorites that can still live on in other people's thoughts. A language <laughs> that we all team up as fangirls and guys to understand. Okay? Okay. Groovy. To Barbie Brittany Murphy's life to be continued. To Barbie be continued. To Barbie be continued. Where did you get this? How did you get this? I had the legal right to see them. They're my adoption papers. Kindle Hart, Lilius. Born January 22nd. I'm on the Capricorn of Aquarius. Kindle Hart's. Is my name I took from my adoption. But I'm Erica Kane's daughter. 
but I'm just a fool. You don't want me more than you don't want me then, and you don't want me more than you do now. Good news, Mrs. Kane. Bianca's MRI came out just fine. Uh, you can now see her now. Oh. Go ahead, go see Bianca. The, one, the only one who matters. What are you doing here? How's Bianca? She's going to be fine. So I'm fired, huh? Yes, you certainly are. I knew things would be like this. You would just toss me aside and not even with a glance back. Only thing that m matters to you is Bianca. Well, yes, that goes without saying. She's my daughter. Well, a lot of things go without saying. But I'm obviously not one of them. What are you talking about? You have no clue, don't you? The thought hasn't even crossed your mind, not even a second. What are you talking about? That I'm your daughter, too. The thought hasn't even crossed your mind, not even for an instant. What hasn't? That I'm also your daughter. Oh, I had I should have seen this before. You throwing yourself on my floor at me, um, prying into my most personal detail of my life. That is not normal behavior. But I had to get to know you. I had to get to know you. I was desperate. Oh, you are sorrifiable. You belong in a straitjacket. Now, if I happen to wake up tomorrow, I would be in the padded cell. I was like, <laughs> so that's it. I'm out of my mind. I should have seen uh, the signs earlier. What? That I'm your daughter? I just told you that I was your daughter. <sighs> Sending me away and ignoring this is not going to make the truth go away. Telling me I'm your daughter and sending me away is not going to make the tr truth disappear. Oh, you're a very sick girl. I'm not sick and I'm not crazy. If you say that again, I'll call security. Fine, I'll yell it up to the top of the roof. <sighs> what do you have to gain from all this? What do you have to gain from all this behavior? I just want to know who my mother is. Well, that has nothing to do with me. You're hard as nails, aren't you? Excuse me. My one and only daughter, Bianca, is in the next room in there with a head injury. She is my only, number one and only concern about in this whole wide world. Well, what about me? What about you? I barely know you. Yeah, and you, you don't want to. No, I certainly do not. Not now. Now, you are a very sick girl, and now look, girl, you have a lot of problems, and I have nothing to do with you, and you have nothing to do with me, so just walk away. You can't just ignore me anymore. I'm here. Now, it's about time that you deal with me. No, security will deal with you. Aren't you interested in me at all? Don't you want to know what happened to me? Don't you just want to know what happened to me? How, how does that feel? I know I'm just the warmth of the wash of your love. I know I'm just a wash in the warmth of your love. What have I ever done to you, Kendall? Nothing. 
Nothing. That's the problem. I gave you a job and a place to stay. I allowed you to deal with some more personal details of my life, and now this is the way you repay me? I don't deserve anything, and I don't deserve an attack after I helped you get on your feet. I didn't need you to help me get on my feet. I made it without you, mother. No, I've had it. That's enough. Enough. Why can't you just admit it? That I'm just some kind of gun that's stuck to the bottom of your shoe. Say it. Say it that you hate me. Say it just that I know it's true. Kindle. Kindle. What are you doing here? Ask my mother. Dimitri, Dimitri, please, she's out of her mind. Get her out of here, please, before I wring her neck. I feel really sorry for you. Yeah, not only did you fell for Erica Kane's love, but you fell for both of her troubled daughters. Right into your lap. I don't know what you're talking about. I've been worried sick about Bianca and being in the hospital. I'm her daughter too. I'm the one that she dumped. You are insane. She hasn't told you anything, did you, about me? Now, I've never seen you in my life until you stepped into my um, office and pretended to faint or whatever. Now, if you are needed a mother or otherwise, I am not the person to come to. Now, I have never laid eyes on you until you uh, traped into my office and pretended to faint or whatever. Now, if you need and a mother imagined or otherwise, you have chosen the wrong person. Well, you know what they say. You can't choose your parents. Kendall, I think it's time for you to leave. Uh, come on, Dimitri. Let's go see Bianca. Come on, before she wakes up. And see. Well, how come it's because every time... That you see Bianca, you wanted to keep her. I think it's time for you to leave, Kendall. Come on, Dimitri. Let's go uh, see Bianca and before she wakes up. How come is it that Bianca gets all this attention and when you had her, you wanted to keep her? You are a hateful, despiteful, hateful young woman. I have no clue, idea, what you have to, to accomplish on this attack, but I'm here to tell you that it is over. I want you to walk out of this hospital and never look back. And if I so help me God see you one more time, I'll slap a restraint on your face that'll make your head spin. Because the game playing is over. The game playing is finished. I hope you just get some help before it's too late. Come on, let's get out of here. Hopefully, when we get back, you won't be here. You ever go back to Phoenix? What, what did you say? Uh, did you ever go back to Phoenix? What? Yeah, I've heard that they put up a new hospital. Well, I bet that was the day that I was born. When they put the children's hospital wing. What did you say? Did you ever go back to Phoenix just for one old time? Good old sake. I heard that they put a new children's hospital up. 
Oh, I bet that was the day that I was born. What is that supposed to mean to her, Kendall? It means a lot to her. I'm the little gift from God that she's never told you about. What does that mean to her, Kendall? Oh, it means a lot to her. I'm the little gift from God that she's never told you about. What is that supposed to mean to her? Oh, it means a lot to her, doesn't it? I'm her little gift from God that she's never told you about. I'm her firstborn. Oh, nurse, doctor, is uh, is she okay? Is, is Bianca okay? Erica Kane. I assure you that Bianca is going to be fine, uh, but uh, she ha cannot be released until 24 hours, and I'd like to do an um, MRI on her scan. Uh, MRI scan? What's that? That's where they see if there's any wounds or punctures, and just to make sure that she doesn't have any blood clots. And I'm sure she should be okay. I just need to do a little bit of examination before she's able to go home. But you can see her in a few minutes, okay? Uh, just after I get done with my examinations. Excuse me, nurse, what's your name? My name is Maria. Ava Maria. Did you hear that? She said that she's gonna be okay. Yeah, I did. I don't want her to ever be alone, ever. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that Bianca is going to make it after she just fell off the horse. I'm sure she's just my daughter thinking what happened probably with the horse. If it is, it is okay. Yeah. She's going to come out uh, well. She's she's not going to have any injuries or any permanent damage. It's just MRI scan. It's just technical things. Yeah, technical procedure. Okay, that is wonderful. I just, I just don't want her to be alone. Like, never, not at all. I just want to see her. Well, where did I get this? Paperwork. Hmm? <gasps> where did you get this? Only s nobody could see this. Yeah, it's my own <sighs> adoption papers. I'm the only one that can see it. Kendall Hart, alias of Erica Kane's daughter. A Capricorn on the cusp of Aquarius, January 22nd. See, I wasn't lying to you. Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll just, we'll have to talk later. Oh, thanks for penciling me in, but I'm not interested. Dimitri. Why did you go through all the trouble to have me? When you were just going to drop me like a worthless piece of garbage. I gave you to a loving family, which you've never met. No, back then things weren't just done like that back then. Oh, you don't care who I was stuck with as long as it wasn't you. I did what was best for the both of us. I gave you to a loving family that was a devoted couple. You've done what you just did for yourself. I was just, just this horrible uh, mistake. Something that just lived that should have died. Well, it was a very painful time for me. And I just wanted to forget. Forget what? 
forget what what happened in the backseat of the car or did it happen after a big game? No, 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 it wasn't like that. Well, you're so smart. What happened? Why didn't you just use birth control? Well, I wasn't sexually active. Oh, right, like it was the first time. It, I'm so sure. It was. Ever heard of the expression, be prepared? I didn't know what to be prepared for. Nobody was is that naive. I was. What, did it happen in a hotel? Like, did it happen here? In the hospital? Kendall, what difference does it make? Why does it matter where it happened? Because we're talking about my father. Look, Kendall, he's long gone. He's irrelevant. Well, not to me. It was a very horrible time in my life. I don't want to think about that. You, you, you. You. I want to know. It would just be better for and easier for both of us to uh, confine things in the present. No. I'm not easy. I'm not, I'm not interested in making everything easier for you. Who got you pregnant? Were you in love with him? No. Oh, so it was just sex? Would he threaten to ditch you and dump you if, if you didn't get rid of me? No, no, Kendall, why don't we just get out of here? Oh, we were not lovers and we were not friends. I just saw them one time. Oh, so let me get this straight. Erica Kane had a one night stand. You slept with a man that um, you never met before, and I'm the result? <sighs> Please just tell me who my father is. He's just someone who's not important in my life and not in yours and, and not will be at all. You don't get to make that call. <sighs> Leave it alone. No, I have the right and I want to know. Kendall, if I tell you, you'll, it'll just hurt you. So just leave it alone. No, I have the right to know. Kendall, I was raped. That's how I got pregnant. Oh, let me get this straight. My father's a rapist? Yes. Did you see his face? Yes. Well, did the cops catch him? So I was, um, uh, so I was born from a criminal, just some thug on the street? No, no, he was a respected civil citizen. Well, how did you know he was a friend of my father's? Well, what did you tell him? I never told him anything, and I never reported it. I mean, I'm sure your father would understand. No, I didn't tell anyone. I didn't tell my father. I was, I didn't, well, I didn't tell my mother at first. It was, I was just too ashamed, and I mean, I was just too young, and I didn't even know I was pregnant. You didn't know you were pregnant with me? No, imagine being pregnant. Can you imagine? No, I can't. Well, imagine being pregnant and being younger than you are now, and your body's just changing and stuff. I mean, what would you do? I mean, your soccer ball, volleyball suit wouldn't fit. And um, I was just a little girl. How could I take an, care of a little baby? I mean, what would you have done, Kendall? Well, what I've done isn't the, the matter right now. Oh, wow, well, tell me this. Why did you sabotage this? Why did you sabotage your relationship with the hearts? Weren't they good? Did they feed you? Did they hurt you? No.
Well, what's it? Why did you want to just come and destroy me? Well, I wanted to hurt you the same way you did me. What? Um, did, so, you having uh, pictures on your wall and stuff, like you said, and idolizing me was just a lie just to get close to me. No, it was true. I used to idolize you until I found out what kind of person you really are. Look, I'd like to start all over. Well, that's all we can do. No. Well, if I would like to be a mother to you, but if you ever want to see me again, you know where to find me. Okay. <laughs> what is this? You want money? Is that it? How much money? Do you want to get paid by the hour or do you want a lump sum? Ah, money can't fix everything. I don't want your money. What is this? Some kind of sadistic sick game? I told you, I'm your mother. I'm not your mother. You can deny it all you want until your deathbed. You had a little baby girl and you threw her away. This is, this is unforgivable. I wanted to believe so bad that you were halfway human. But the, but that, that was my mistake. My mistake is that I should have left you in a heap on the floor and ran. Yeah, that's right. Throw me away like I'm garbage. I should have just walked over you. Yeah, that's right, because I'm garbage. I could never be good enough to be Erica Kane's daughter. Listen to me. I have one daughter, and her name is Bianca. What about this? What about that? Where did you get this? How did you get this? I... Uh, 